herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Every animal in the world has at least one thing in common. They must eat. But what animals eat can be totally different depending on the kind of animal. Animals can be herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores. Today, we are going to talk about what each of these words mean. But first, let's quickly pretend we are eating dinner together. What types of food do you usually eat? It might be a combination of meat, vegetables, or fruit. Or maybe you do not eat meat at all. Or maybe you eat lots of fruit when you are not in the mood for vegetables. Not every human has the same diet or favorite foods, and neither do animals. So, let's see what animals are having for dinner. We already mentioned that animals can be herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores. When you look at these words, what do you think that vor means? Here is an interesting fact. The suffix or end part of the word vor is from the Latin word that means to eat or devour. In this case, vor is combined with the prefixes or beginning parts of the words herbe, which means plants, carne, which means meat or flesh, and omni, which means everything or all. Knowing the definitions of these words will come in handy, so keep them in your brains. Because now it is finally time to talk about these three cool animal diets. First up is herbivore. As you can probably guess, herbivores are animals who only eat plants. No meat for them. Not even when it's a juicy hamburger, though they might eat the lettuce and tomatoes. Physical characteristics of herbivores include dull or no canine teeth with big, flat side and back teeth. Herbivores use their molars to crush and grind plants. The eye placement of most herbivores is located more on the sides of their heads because they do not have to track down or hunt prey. Not all herbivores are the same. Some eat only grasses, while others eat different kinds of plants, seeds, or fruits. Here is an interesting fact. Birds, bees, and butterflies eat nectar from flowers to get the nutrients they need to survive. In the human world, vegetarians are people who eat mainly plants and do not eat meat, just like herbivores. Examples of herbivores are sheep, cows, deer, squirrels, elephants, parrots, giraffes, kangaroos, mice, and insects such as caterpillars and grasshoppers. What do you think carnivores eat? If you said meat, you are right. Carnivores are animals with long, sharp canine teeth next to their front teeth, plus sharp cheek teeth called carnesials. Try saying that three times fast. Bet they would love to sink their teeth into a juicy burger patty. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These sharp teeth are perfect for seizing and stabbing prey and chewing them up. Unlike herbivores, carnivores' eyes are located in the front of their heads so that they can spot and determine the distance of their prey. Meat is a high-energy food source for carnivores. They find their food by hunting live prey or by eating animals that are already dead. Many carnivorous animals have big claws, sharp teeth or beaks, and quick speed. This is all to help them hunt, whether they live on land, swim in the sea, or soar through the sky. Animals like 
lions, tigers, crocodiles, wolves, and snakes, birds like owls and eagles, and insects like beetles and dragonflies are all carnivores. So is the Venus flytrap, which is actually a plant. Isn't the wild wild? We have talked about animals who only eat plants and animals who only eat meat. What is left? That's right, the animals who eat both, aka omnivores. So, a hamburger with lettuce, tomato, and a bun would probably hit the spot. If the omnivore is a human, that is. In fact, most humans are omnivores. Like other animals, omnivores may limit the types of plants or animals they eat, just like humans. Some humans might only eat plants and fish, but no other animal products. Omnivores in the wild have the widest variety of food options. Like carnivores, omnivores have eyes in the front to help them spot prey. And typically have canine teeth too. They can also have flat teeth and molars, just like herbivores. Chickens, crows, bears, raccoons, skunks, pigs, robins, lizards, turtles, badgers, ostriches, ducks, flies, and catfish are all examples of omnivores. Well, now that you know more about herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores, it is time to play a game. We are going to name an animal, and you have to tell us if it is an herbivore, carnivore, or an omnivore. Ready, set, go. B, herbivore. Badger, omnivore, Venus flytrap, carnivore, crocodile, carnivore, parrot, herbivore, giraffe, herbivore, catfish, omnivore. Nice work, animal diet detectors. Like humans, Animals have all different kinds of diets, whether they eat plants, meat, or a little bit of both. All are important in their own unique way. The next time you are sitting down at the dinner table, think about what parts of your meal herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores would eat. You can even make it a fun game you can play with your family or friends. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.